want to go all the way straight down? Yeah, on the line you can make a left. Okay. You ready? There we go. Now we in second. Welcome back to the Motor Miami. Today we have JJ. Thank you so much for making the time for us, man. No problem, man. Thank you, thank you. Seriously, this is gonna be a treat because uh, we love old school around here. And like I told you, uh, you're changing my mind on the sedans, man. This this thing is gnarly, man. It's always been like hatches and wagons, but oh, the sedan. Good, good choice of uh, of build. So before we talk about this, what, what, what kind of car do you drive, man? A 1990 Honda Civic sedan LX model with LX. the power windows. Ooh, okay. I don't think there's anything left of that <laughs> LX model. <laughs> no, oh, the power windows are still there? Just the front ones. Okay, well, there you go. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. It would have been funny if you would have been like, no, I took them off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. I took the back ones off. The back ones are out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody can sit back there, though, though Jay. Nope, nope, nope. All right, so before we start into this amazing build, tell me a little bit about yourself. Like, when do you remember thinking, like, cars are my hobby? This is the thing that I want to pursue. Well, um, as a kid, I don't want to make this too long. But yeah, um, I was always into anything that had wheels. Mm -hmm. So when I was a kid, I took the training wheels off my first bicycle by myself. And I just started riding it. My, my mom was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I said, I don't, I just do it. So ended up racing BMX from 13 to like 17. I was no supposed way. to turn pro and I quit. <gasps> what happened? I'm burnt out from, cause it's, it's, it's that, that, it's not even training it's the mental thing that i've been doing this for five years straight and i'm a you know i'm a teenager mm -hmm. so i'm thinking i'm missing a bunch of stuff uh -huh. so that's why i gave it up at 17 then i started skateboarding with my buddies for a while to like 23 24 <laughs> i was like man just almost wheel. went pro quit that too no nah, I, <laughs> I was i was good but my buddy was more pro okay, he, okay. i just i skated with a bunch of the old school pros though that what's was his name cool. tony Nah, nah, not that guy. Last name Hawk? <laughs> well, I did uh, Christian Hosoy, Eric Dressen. I want to say Aaron Murray was there too. It was at Venice Beach a long, long, long time ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah that's mm, cool. It was cool. Like a hundred right. skaters more. It was a lot. We skated from Manhattan to Venice. That's insane. Yeah. That's far. Yeah, but it was a bunch of us. Man, youngsters, huh? Yeah. But so the, at the time, how you you just getting around in bikes and 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 skateboards? No, yeah, cars? I didn't I didn't get into cars. I had a old school Celica, like a '77, but I was just using that for a skate vehicle. But uh, I got into imports in '94. '94. What what made you go into '94? Um, my buddy had an '87 hatch that he lowered, and I was like, that thing is that thing is nice. I was in the mini trucks for a minute, mm. and then um. I seen that car, it's like, I'm getting rid of this mini truck and I'm getting the hatch. <laughs> was it swapped? No, no, it just, no. It looked nice. It, it, it looked... was, it was like, this was like early, super early. This was like before the swaps. I've been around before swaps. Gotcha. I was around when they did the first uh, LSV tech swap. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, I've seen, I've seen it all. Yeah, we. I, I guess I take it for granted, you know? I just, I've been into everything it has to be swapped. But yeah, I forget, back in the 80s, it was just. Yeah, we were, we were stuck on single overhead cam and trying to make major horsepower with that and it was you know my buddy's car he was running the all motor class way way back battle imports all that kind of stuff oh okay. and it was a it was a 12 second car oh, wow. yeah that's single fast. overhead yeah. that's fast mm -hmm. but i mean the car was back half they, you know it, we had to cut them up real a lot 
I think that guy's car was like 1,500 or 1,400 pounds. Almost not safe to yeah. choose, right? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Well, you know, you don't have to make like 200 horsepower though then. So, you know. <laughs> it, it works out. Yeah, it worked um, out. So, what ends up becoming your first car? Um, My first? Sorry, your first import car. Because I know you it said was, you had uh, it. It was 88 like Honda Civic Hatch DX model. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Um, If anybody sees this video and been to the street races in Carson like way way back like the early 90s I, I'm the guy that had the hatchback it was a black hatchback with a big mobile one sticker on the side right. so either they really like you Jay or they don't like you yeah <laughs> disclaimer Is it, you're gonna like me or you didn't like me yeah so <laughs> yeah but I was I was I was there not even sponsor you just like the logo yeah <laughs> Well, at that time, we all, everybody was doing it. It was, it was cars with uh, Twix on the hood, and on the side, um, all kind of stuff. Everybody's doing all kind of stuff. Like, the, it was a cord, and it had the Twix emblem, and it was the same color as the wrapper. So, that's, <laughs> you know, the, the wrapper for yeah, the Twix, yeah, yeah. it was the same color. So, we were doing that for a while. It was, it was cool, though. That's dope. Back in the day. Yeah. yeah. So, what happened to that car? Um, ended up selling it. And I, I think the next one was a 87 Integra, the one with the flip up headlights. Nice, yeah. So I had that for a while, blew the motor, got rid of that. And then the next one I went to was, I think I did the CRX. I had a 90 CRX. Oh, okay. So you've always said with the boxiness, huh? Yeah. Seems like you have a theme, yeah. Oh, let me tell you what happened with that one though. Um, it ended up going to all track you know all motor car that went full track but it wasn't by choice um oh, what <laughs> yeah it wasn't by choice i was not by choice yeah. i was on the way to work driving it it was the day after the first fast and furious movie of course and i was sitting at the light so when i to get on the freeway it was a highway patrol cop sitting on the other side on a motorcycle so i start driving he comes and gets me i said oh man i'm gonna be late for work so he pulls me over pops the he makes me pop the hood because at that time it's like what can i say i didn't know not that i couldn't say no so he looks under the car it's oh no catalytic converter pop the hood i had a zc in there twin cam he goes this is not the motor that belongs in there he said okay i'm write your tickets fix the tickets all fix the tickets but you're going to state ref ah. there was no way for me to fix yeah. that because once i hit state ref i was like i'm not swapping a motor back in here just to you know to satisfy you so I just turned in. <laughs> I just turned into a full track car. You show them, Jay. <laughs> you taught that guy a lesson. I did because I got another one. So it was I was back out there again. So it didn't matter. So anyway, long story short, the guy that pulled me over, I was reading the Honda Tuna magazine like a couple weeks later. Guess who was in there? The cop that pulled me over. Get out of here. Full interview talking about. I know what I'm looking for. I said, Are you kidding me? What kind of luck do I have? <laughs> what? I was like, This dude. It's in a book. He said, I know what I'm looking for. I read the whole article. I was like, that's the dude that pulled me over. I was telling my buddy, he was like, unbelievable. Only you. Only you. Yeah. It's got, you know, spherical bearing traction bar. Oh. Spherical bearing lower, lower front control arms. That's why it, every time you, ever you hear, yeah, you hear everything and you feel everything. Yeah. It only drives good at speed. Right. That's you know, like a real race car. At slow gotcha. speeds, it, it sucks. Oh, really? Yeah, I drive it in traffic, you know, on the way home from work sometime, and it's like, I'll be stalling it. People are looking at me like, what the hell are you just learning how to drive that? Yeah, you try driving this. <laughs> driving this thing. You can make a ride on the light. Okay. Yeah, I, you try driving this. <laughs> I drove it for a week because my truck was in the shop. Oh, my God. By Wednesday, my leg was like, what are you doing? Yeah. Are you stupid? <laughs> Get out of here. Get back in the truck. <laughs> I was like, oh Next my light. god. Next light, sorry. Next one? Yeah. All right. I'm not trying to go to the airport. When was the last track that you took it? Man, 2019, Montana. Uh, okay. Um, you know, that was my track, but it got closed down from COVID. Yeah. So I waited three years for it to pop back up and it never came back. Oh, yeah, 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 they closed it. So my next track is Bakersfield. And I was like, you know what? It's time for me to retire because I'm not doing Bakersfield. I did it in 97. I was like, I'm not doing this no more. I'm not, you know, I'm older now, so I don't want to drive. And I don't want to break down going over to the grapevine, yeah. none of that crap. When I was younger, I didn't care, you know? 
<laughs> now it's kind of like yeah i get you it's like man i just want to relax i want to drive the car so relax you, i so still do uh drag racing yeah i was drag racing um this car was built for 1150 index class which is uh you got to run 11 basically you got to run 1150 to qualify i almost got booted off the track doing um tens uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a 10 second car. But I almost got booted off the track doing qualifying. <laughs> it was like, I got to the end, I had ran 11.30 at 133. That boy was like, he was like, you're gonna need a roll bar, buddy. I said, what do you mean? He said, one more mile per hour, you're gonna need a roll bar. I'm gonna have to boot you off the track. I said, what? He said, yeah. He said, he didn't say nothing about the 11.30, but he just said, yeah, you're gonna have to put a roll bar in there. We're talking about it, man. Okay. Um, I am to assume the car was not yellow when you first bought it. No, it was burgundy. It was the stock Honda burgundy. With the uh, burgundy interior? Yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah, it is cool. Yep. Still got some of it around the house somewhere. <laughs> some of it. <laughs> when did you respray it? I um, think it was around, I want to say, 20, maybe 2014, 2013. Oh, wow. It's been a bit then. Yeah. Look, yeah, it's beat. It's kind of <clears> beat. It looks good. time to change the color though. It looks good. I mean, and what color did you go with? Uh, did you go with? This is a, it, this is Integra Type R, Civic Type R yellow. Oh, nice. It's that uh, Phoenix yellow, whatever. How come you didn't go with the CRX yellow? No, 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 you know, I gutted, cutted uh, everything out of it. Mm -hmm. So I put the vents in it myself because uh, once I went boost, it was like, okay, I got to get rid of the heat somewhere. Yeah. So oh, I, nice vents. Yeah, I seen it at, um, I was at LA Auto Show and I seen a rally car with it. So I was like, I can, I can do that. I think I can do this. And so what I, kind of vents? Would I know? No, just some, okay. some eBay yeah. specials. I cut <laughs> them up and then I got the screen from Home Depot. Everybody call it Home Depot or Home Depot. <laughs> it looks good. Wow. So did it in the garage and made it happen, you know. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. Man. And the front bumper, what, what do you have going on? It's just a it's a regular front <clears throat> EF sedan bumper, but it's a, or I should say ED for the guys that say it's not a real EF. I know it's not, but <laughs> in my era it was because that's all we knew. <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> Disclaimer. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. But the lip is a uh, eBay special. Looks great. I really like it. Yeah. Really, really like it. Very nice. Man. And then you have the quick releases for everything, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. Cause I was in on and off the trailer. It makes it so much easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Man. Like when it was when it was a drag car, when it was full drag <clears throat> car, it was on you know on and off the trailer. So that was your thing, right? Drag. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's why she looks like that, because it was, you know, I wouldn't have just went, I don't think I would have just went to side skirts and, you know, all the carbon fiber if I wasn't trying to make it lighter. I'm trying to make it lighter and, and more aerodynamic, because it's, it's basically a brick <laughs> going down a quarter mile. But isn't that like the whole appeal to it as a, the reason we love these cars, just the boxiness of them? Yeah. That's cool, yeah, man. Definitely. Yeah. And then, uh, side marker? Um... Password JDM. Password JDM. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I still I had a couple sets, but I uh, think I got a set somewhere. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, man. Them corner lights though, they were not easy getting for a sedan. Why is that? Because they're amber. The clear ones I could find clear ones all the time, but the amber ones, oh my god. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, it took me a minute. Is it is it harder to find parts for a sedan? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because, you know, this hood is only to this car. Oh. The hatches and the CRXs, 88 through 91 hatches and CRX, they use the same hood. Oh, okay. Great. So you chose the worst platform yep. to buy stuff for. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Black sheep of the family. Yep. Which makes it even better, you mm -hmm. know? That's cool. Suspension, what do we got going on? Okay, we got function form one coilovers, oh, uh, nice. skunk upper control arms, you know, the uh, camber kit ones, 
Um, lower control arms are spherical, barren uh, skunk twos. Um, traction bar is full race, spherical. Um, that's it. It has a, a CRX uh, rack on it that's non power steering. And for all the uh, guys that's really slammed, my car is not that low anymore, but I used to be lower than this. The way to get by with the traction bars without it um, touching um, the crank pulley is I flipped them to the bottom instead of on the top of the control arm. Uh, I had it machined and then I did another set by myself, but it puts the bar down lower, you get another two inches. So if you slam, because a lot of guys, they make, a, they make a bar for it now and it's shaped where the crank pulley won't touch, but mm -hmm. I, I didn't have to do all that. Gotcha. So just, you know, giving stuff where I can. Yeah, that's, that's cool, Jay. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say take off the crank pulley nah, and nah, just nah. spray. <laughs> 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 no, no. <laughs> One pull, you get it. That's it. <laughs> oh, I'm. Yeah, you don't want to know, man. I didn't been through some stuff. I lost the crank pulley bolt at the track. Man. <laughs> man, that guy's really trying to lose weight. <laughs> yeah, folks are like, where's the crank pulley bolt? I was like, you tell me. I said somebody probably sent the send the bleachers. I don't know. Somebody took it off and it wasn't me. <laughs> it spun off. Pew! Oh man, that's scary. Yeah, it came off. Only thing that kept that motor together was because I had the. Uh, the engine covers on it for the timing belt. This one doesn't have it though. Okay, so but that one ain't that pulley ain't coming off even without a bolt. You welded it? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. You got your me. Face, it's your like, face whoa, like whoa, whoa, bro. Talking about whoa, bro. It's like welded it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a uh, it's the ATI. So it's it's once you put it on there, it ain't coming off. Okay. It's, it sounds really nice though, and you definitely feel like you're in a in a race car, man. Great job. I'm ready. Man. What transmission are you running? Huh? What transmission are you running? 93 GSR cable. That was second gear? No, that was fourth. That was fourth gear? Yeah, I took <laughs> off in fourth. I didn't downshift. <laughs> that shit, I was like, that's long, man. Yeah, and it's still really that, fast. That's the um, that's the gear I'll be in at the finish line. That's scary. That's really scary. It's all right. It goes straight as an arrow, you know, on um, drag slicks and skinnies. But on street tires, she kind of like if I took off, like if we took, if I hit it real hard right now, she's gonna pull either to the left or the right. So it wiggles a lot. Yeah, it's, well, yeah, this it's thing weird. is super light. It's not weird, it's super light. It's scary, it's scary as hell. Yes, hell. yes, that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, this thing is super light. It shouldn't be making that much power. Gus, I got stories, man, you will not believe. Well, be I, hope, I hope today we don't make one of those stories. Nah, 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 we good. <laughs> we good. <laughs> How long have you owned this car for? Um, Since 2013. Oh, okay, that's cool. So you know your car very well. I mean, you've done everything yourself. Yeah, right? I don't, um, I'm going to tell you a small story. I was messing with somebody coming up Delamo because I stay over outside of town. Uh -huh. And Delamo has that curve where you go in before you get to Avalon. So I'm messing with this fool. So I gets on it, it pulled into the curve. And I hit this with this wheel on this side. It's not the best. I mean, it's, it's straight now and again, but I was going to turn around. Yeah. It's That's exactly what I want to hear when I'm in someone's car. That I know. wheel is not round enough. <laughs> no, it's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's round, but it's. You it's, gave me the warning. First, first shot, he told me, you know. Pretty, pretty much. The car tweaks to the left, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty much. It, I, um, I tapped the curb, and it has it has one of those islands, like, so if I would have hit it harder, I would have flew over, oh <laughs> over the thing God. to the other side. It bounced off, and I kept going, so, you know. <laughs> Yeah, please. Curve, yeah, I drove it back home because I was like, shit, I almost died. You haven't even checked the wheel. Uh, no, hell no. I, I checked it when I got home. I was like, unbelievable. Um, <laughs> so I was like, you know, I had just got them too. They were almost, they were still new. So I, I painted this one like with some touch-up paint, but it's not the same color, but you'd have to look pretty hard to tell. And I got the dent taken out because they it got you know it got curved road rash it yeah. was messed up so i took it to this place that i always used to go to i know a gang of places man because i've been in you know the honda game for almost 30 years now wow so um 
yeah, I got it fixed, so she good. <laughs> but it's just, you know, weird stuff happens with this car, man. I mean, um, triple eight R's, triple eight R's, the Toyo proxies, mm. um, two hundred five fifty fifteen. Ooh, nice. And I know the next is the rim, so it's a uh, Gram Light 57 DRs, um, 15 by 8, um, 35 offset. Oh, perfect. 15 by 8 plus 35. Yep. It just feels so nicely. Love the color too, the, the yellow and the contrast with the MAC blue. Yes. Man. And then the PCI skirts, what, what size are they? Those are the same size that everybody put on the hatchbacks, the 88 through 91 hatches. They fit right on there the same size. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Because they don't make them for sedans uh, specifically? Nope. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. They don't make nothing for sedans. <laughs> okay. You got to either make it or, you know, basically make it. Make it. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. That trunk though. Yeah. It has to be a for sedan. Side barn? Uh, nope. This one is... Man, I forgot the name of this one. It's good though. Okay, the front one's Saban. This one is, it's another maker that makes carbon fiber. I can't remember the name, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, hope I remember by the end of the interview. Yeah, I'm sure we will, we will. <laughs> and then you just cut out the bumper? Oh yeah. Diffuser, uh, air, um, it makes a difference actually. It, what about the interior or the lack of interior? Oh, it's, oh, it's definitely lack of. <laughs> hey, you don't mind opening up the door for us, Jay? Yes, sir. Man, such race car-ish car. Not oh, even a lie. It's all race. What are we staring at? Okay. Nothing but door cards and... <laughs> <laughs> and we're done. And seats. <laughs> Damn. I love Got it. the steampunk look look going on with, with the bolts and the screws and, you know, whatnot. It looks so good, man. So good. Took out the sound dead in like 50 pounds. There. Um, now, the dash, was it black? Nope. It was burgundy. It burgundy. Okay, so you sprayed it, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Everything in here was burgundy. Well, I mean... And I killed all that, well, most of it. You know, it's starting to come off now. It's but, still somewhere. Yeah. Like you mentioned, it's still somewhere. Well, let's start with, uh, I guess, wheel, and then you can go with all of the... You know, mechanical, electrical stuff. Okay. What's going on? Sparkle steering wheel, uh, of course, with energy uh, quick release. Mm -hmm. uh, pedals are uh, Razo. Oh, nice. I got a PCI uh, floor plate to lift up, you know, make it higher, make the floor a little higher. Mm -hmm. um, all my normal gauges, water, temp, um, boost, uh, wide, uh, wide band. Mm -hmm. Oil pressure, water temp, boost gauge. Nothing, just the basics. What was the the dash that you had up here earlier? Oh, my my phone. That was your phone. Yeah. That's, that's my a, phone with Honda on it. That's a big old phone. <laughs> yeah, it is, huh? It's large. It looked big, man. I was like, man, that's a big. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's what you have all your stuff. Yeah. Because um, I have a digital dash, but mm -hmm. uh, I ain't trying to put that in right now. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, okay, okay. And it has a EK um, dash with an Omni um, gauge, wow. 11,000 RPM. Kind of hard to get those two now. Every now and then you find them. Yeah. The RPM gauge. Yeah. yeah. What, what is the, um, actually, what is the red line on this car? Uh, I'm, sh I'm shifting it at 9,000. Damn. You're supposed to shift a seven, but I'm shifting at nine. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, this is great, man. And then the shifter assembly? Uh, K Tune, the first one they came out with. Oh, wow. Because they didn't did like, I think, two others now, maybe. Mm -hmm. But that's their first one. Because I was breaking the regular shifters. Like, I had Circuit Hero um, extensions on my other regular shift knobs, and I kept snapping them off. I snapped one off driving home from work, and I was driving like this. Like, oh man, I gotta shift like this all the way home. <laughs> no, like, that sucked. That sucked. <laughs> Roll bar, um, auto power, and it's for a 90 Civic hatch. Oh, okay. Again, had to make it fit. Okay, good. And then seats. Uh, got the old trusty pole position Recaro, and then the passenger one is uh, Energy, and it's uh, it's a wider one. Cause this one fits me. I got the wider one for anybody else that's riding in here, you know, Thank so you. they won't be 
squeezed in like me, you know. Thank you for thinking of your passengers. I, I do. <laughs> I'm that kind of guy. <laughs> oh, man. Even I though mean, my wife will never get in here ever again. Well, yeah, I don't blame her. I mean, it's, I only it's, took her, I only went to third gear. <laughs> she freaked out. I At 120, going, man, I on a curve. No, no, it was straight. <laughs> Your tires were bald. It was rainy. <laughs> oh my God. No, I'm not driving this in the rain. Never. Of course you didn't want to get out of here. No, no, no. No, no, no. Man, and it was foggy too. <laughs> I'm good. I am good. <laughs> Any future plans for the interior? I mean, this is. I really, really like your interior, man. This is great. No, it's um, maybe get another Recaro, but I don't know. I mean, I I kind of like the, the Mitch Max seat, you know. No, it looks good. It looks good, yeah. I wouldn't change it. Man, it's amazing. Well, I mean, all these race car stuff for, for what did you say, D-Series? You're still a D-Series, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. Stock? Mm-hmm. I'm D series, I'm all motor and I'm C -C. making 450. <laughs> <To wheels. laughs> Let's check out the power plant if you don't mind. All right, let me get a uh, let me get my stick out the back to hold the trunk. Let's see, let's see. Oh man, that trunk is light. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised it doesn't crack every time you open it. There it is. <laughs> VIS, there you go. I, there was you go. I was thinking in the back of my mind, I was like, what is it? VIS, okay. yeah, I couldn't remember either. You know, man, you also clean up the you sprayed the whole entire uh carriage huh mm -hmm. yeah Man, that's good i have you know it's been apart so many times you know so yep so just ef sedan kind of seems to be your 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 choice for the long run i mean you've had so many different cars yeah oh i did god you kidding let me what should we get Oh my goodness. Yep. Well, I don't get this car, guys. They built something so red like this, but they can't have another pole. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, I was you're like, You're like, look at like, I don't know how to build it, man. <laughs> I was looking for the, the rods that, you know, they're like. The shocks? Yeah, but they don't make them for this car. Like I said, I would have the bottom. I was like, I'm not doing it. I'll just get a stick. A stick. Yeah. Plus, you never pop the hood, you know? You just, you just fly by them and then they, they don't know what hit them. Yeah. Well, Jay, what are we staring at? This is super rad, man. Okay, I gotta wow. go down the list. It's the Block B18A, or the 90 Integra, out mm. of a 90 Integra. Okay. It's sleeved, um, 85 millimeter, has piston rods, um, Aries pistons, Eagle rods, uh, crank is polished, ACL race bearings, transmission is a 93. Uh, Acura Integra GSR cable tranny, still cable, big spleen though. Um, M, uh, M factory diff is inside, um, mm. running insane 500 horsepower axles. Turbo is El Cheapo. <laughs> what is El Cheapo? Maybe? It's a CX racing one, okay. it's a 3582. Okay. Um, the manifold is PLM. Uh, ram horn, downpipe, ram horn, um, PLM, uh, 1320 external, another tensioner, got two tensioners on here. Mm. Um, speed factory thing to tell where the timing is. Nice. See, I don't, I don't have a, I don't have the cover, but this, you know, all this holds it on, so mm -hmm. I'm good. Um, ATI racing crank pulley, the street version one, but it's, it's still a race pulley. Um, Vision, oh, pride and joy. Old school vision bar. It's kind of scuffed up, but it, it is for a sedan. Hmm. It, it is for a sedan, or did you have to? No, it's for. It'll fit any any of them, any of the cars. Oh, really? It'll fit my my Accord. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're pushing it to the guys. You're being so no. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I killed your vibe. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, Passports, mounts, uh, just the regular street ones. Little stiff, yeah, yeah, definitely. They, well, I, I mean, I could have, I could have went the red ones, and then I'm, I'm probably start breaking stuff though. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. uh, you know. But you know what? For the fact that there are hard mounts, it, it wasn't shaking when we were at a red light. It wasn't like, ah, you know, like it. it yeah, these are the, these are the leaning towards the softer ones, oh, you okay. know, street ones. Mm -hmm. The red ones is, uh, yeah there i wouldn't i don't want think i, I probably would have did it if i went all you know kept made it full race car so this is not full race car mm -mm. 
<laughs> like it's, it's, bumpers or what? The outside is the outside is street. <laughs> what are you talking the inside about? Inside is race. This is not full <laughs> race Nobody car? knows. Nobody knows, Gus. Nobody knows. <laughs> no, Until okay. I pop the hood. <laughs> Yellow car with blue cage inside with bucket seats. You're right. You're very subtle, man. It is. It's a family car. Very it's a sedan. <laughs> it's a sedan. It's not supposed to move fast, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Sorry, go ahead. There's so much, man. There's so much. It's cool. Okay. Uh T uh blow off valve. Um, and the wastegate is tile. Mm. Um, speed factory, fill pot, uh, chase bay, overflow. Um, old school right here, buddy. B&M, I think. I think it's B&M. They don't make those no more. It's hard to find them. I mean, people copy them, but it, that's the original one. Um, and what, what part is that? Fuel uh, what? Fuel, fuel pressure rate uh, regulator. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yep. Gotcha. Um, what else? Uh, skunk 2 uh composite fuel rail um gram 1000 cc injectors Phew. uh skunk 2 ultra street manifold 70 millimeter throttle body mm. um old school catch can in dine nice um, oh man a lot of cool old school parts yeah uh, uh mac three port boost controller mm -hmm. mm, i think that's about it i don't mm, oh coil uh, plug Burton coil on plug. When did you go coil on plug? Oh boy. Whew. Been a bit? It's been a while. You like, recommend it? Yeah. Yeah, you like it? Like Definitely. It. I mean, they make a better one now. Sorry, Burton, but they make a better one now. <laughs> Sorry, Burton. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Someone's going to be sitting in their computer watching this. How dare he? Yep. How God. dare he? Man, there's so much, man. So rad. Exhaust system? What, what did you say? Yeah, Sorry. Okay, the exhaust is a PLM but uh mm. i got a muscular shop guy that i go to rt rtb um and carson he made my whole three inch exhaust and the muffler is also plm it's uh old it looks old school like it's almost a knockoff of a spoon mm. okay man i mean i'm sure i'm forgetting so many Something. other questions to ask oh camshafts is a uh, skunk two pro ones Hmm. And skunk to cam gears and gates racing time of built. I think that covers it. <laughs> oh, the head was ported. Well, okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be funny. The head on here <laughs> is what? A Lannis port and polish from way back. I'm talking about the head is I say it's about 20, 22 years old. No. Port and polish, same valve springs, same retainers from 20, 22 years ago. No way. Yep. How? He, he did a he did a hell of a yeah. hell of a port job on it. It's, it's milled like maybe twenty five. But wow. Yeah, it's been it's been on, the, on every car I didn't had that I didn't raced. Cool. All motor and everything. Kudos to that craftsmanship. Yep. Man, that's awesome. Probably break a, break down on the way home. So <laughs> you, you jinx it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I was saying. I got no wood around here. Like, I gotta run to a tree. Let me knock on this. <laughs> so gotcha. Yeah. Um had the hair for a long time. Um Man. I mean, I hate to ask, but is there any future plans for this? Mm, no, I was gonna only thing I was thinking about when i was still running you know still track racing i was going to try to bump it up to 500 horsepower but i was like um now it's like not so much i just i'm gonna leave it where it is if i do anything 490 okay <laughs> i'm gonna refresh it it's so good man yeah damn it's fast enough i wouldn't do anything to it yeah i don't and it's running good right yeah pretty okay. decent for now aside from the 20 headaches that you had from 12 hours ago <laughs> yeah so we appreciate you fixing this issue yeah, we wasn't supposed to talk about that <laughs> that's why it's right car <laughs> there's never issues with project cars you're right you're right yeah there's, there's especially no the problem. booster cars especially the booster cars yeah my hair is not turning gray from it i'm not <laughs> pulling out what i got left no uh, nothing um the the plumbing on the intercooler what kind of intercooler and, and oh that's what i left out the intercooler is a ebay special oh, but nice. I, I got a black one so you know people can't tell you you know unless you know what you're looking for because you can't see it if you in the, especially in the morning <laughs> in the dark they don't know it's boosted <laughs> they just see a yellow car yeah they just know it's boosted so uh they don't you know they don't even know till you know till you pass them or, or start racing them or something so um radiator is a speed factory 
Nice. Yeah, yeah tuck. Fits very nicely. And that's a tight fit between the, the fan and the and the turbo, but... Oh, yeah, I had, to, I had to massage it in there. Massage it yeah, for sure. It'll cut right there. I had to grind it down just so it... it <laughs> squeeze past the turbo. No overheating issues? Oh, yeah, we, we had that before. Oh, definitely. Any any guy that has a turbo car is saying had no overheating problems. He's lying. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely lying. Find him, Jay. Let's find him. Who, like, who man, it? Dar, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, you, you'd have to build it, like, perfectly the straight first time. Like, no, I didn't overheat, never. <laughs> never. <laughs> I, I, I find that hard to believe, bro. <laughs> hard to believe, bro. <laughs> so you, you, you're killing me. <laughs> And the EG guys and the EK guys are, you know, not crazy, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this car, this car, these cars are nuts to drive. Dude, thank Here. you. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity, man. This is so fun. Yep, it's cool. I gotta do, well, I was saying I gotta do the overhaul, I gotta do transmission in these synchros now, because uh, I think, well, first gear is bad, but I get it in the gear, but you can't tell because I'm, I'm always messing with it to get it in, but I know how it used to be. Uh -huh. Transmission got built, yeah, about four or five years ago. Wow, it's been holding on. Yeah, it's because um, it's, it's, it's big spleen, um, it's a big spleen tranny, B-series tranny. Once you, you know, B-16 trannies, I, see, I can tell you all this stuff because I've been, been through it. The small spleen trannies, yeah, they tear up. They break, they can't handle this kind of horsepower. I broke a, I broke one with all motor oh, wow. on the street. <laughs> and I was like, unbelievable. It has M factory diff in this, in here, but that's only to stop the, you know, the wheel, both wheel spin. So, right. you know, the normal, LSD. Have you considered all wheel drive? Huh? Have you considered all wheel drive? Hell yeah. Hell yes, I have. Oh yeah, definitely. That's if I stay boosted, yeah. But if I go back to all motor, I'm gonna just say forget it, and you know. You're not going back to all motor. It depends on how this car acts, you know. Ah, uh, calm down. <laughs> I'm just saying. You always say that. <laughs> yeah. But you're not going back to an A, man. Yeah, I almost did, it. man. I was like, I almost, <laughs> dude, I almost got a K24 I, for the Integra <laughs> when I first, when I first was doing Integra. But I was like, I said, you know what? I said, I got enough B-Series stuff at home to build another motor, so I was... All right, Jay. Thank you so much for making the time for us, man. Such a cool vibe, cool mm -hmm. energy. Thank you so much. Amazing car. What a great morning, seriously. I, we you. appreciate you, you, and we love the fact that individuals like yourself who's been in the car game, especially in the Honda game for quite a bit, yeah. are still doing it, so we appreciate that, man. Yep. Any shout-outs? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, number one on the list is my wife for putting up with this car, with the E85, smelling up the garage. Um surprised she didn't divorce me um <laughs> you know just to build period you know uh definitely thanks her all around big ups um a couple guys that dyno tuned it they're used to dyno tune it well one of them don't anymore but anyway uh daniel butler he used to work at a church dyno i don't know if he's still there or not i've seen him with um also sick media now so that dude used to tune it and it was, it was awesome big ups to that guy um eric Grayson and Baldwin, he's tuning it now every time I get a chance to dyno it, and he does a great job too. Mm -hmm. um, anybody else? Definitely you, bro. <laughs> Definitely you for giving me the opportunity. No, thank you, man. Yeah. Um, and anybody else I didn't forget? I mean, most of the, oh, my engine builder. Bill, he's been building my blocks for about 11 years. Oh, Dave wow. from R RS Machine. Mm. That guy's been building my blocks for about 11 years, so definitely big up to him. You're gonna forget somebody. I mean, you've been in the game for such a long time and this build's been going on for so many years that yeah. you're definitely gonna forget somebody, but yeah. it seems like you, uh, you've you you've done the best that you can possibly can, and we appreciate it, man. This is a, this is a rad car, seriously. Yeah, it's, um, it's a lot of my blood, sweat, and tears, you know. Uh, I use, you know, I just get the block mostly naked and I just, I build it in the garage, just, you know, on the floor. And then I put it in a weird way too. People gonna be, what? <laughs> I just put the block in first. Why it's, why it's jacked up. I don't use no engine hoist ever. And then I put the head on everything. I, I jacked the motor up in there into the um, motor mounts. And then I do the head and the rest of it. That's how I've been doing it for years. <laughs> it's crazy, <laughs> but that's what I do. <laughs> that's how you did in the street back in the days too yeah, yeah. 
Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if it works for you, it works for you. Yeah. They have like a, a cherry picker here, like, hey, man, you can use this. Nah, nah man. I'm good. Nah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I got I to do it different. I yeah, gotta yeah, do yeah it. leave it there, man. Leave I got to do it the hardest so, way possible. Somebody records you and the cherry picker's right next to it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone gonna tell? Now nah, we told him like five times, but he's like, nah, we'll nah, nah. I'll use it when I need it. <laughs> yeah, which will be never. I'm doing it the hard way. Let me do it my way. <laughs> 90 years old, like, yep. look at it. Man, so you must really hate lifts then, you know, all these people. <laughs> <laughs> he goes like, "What? Why are you doing a lift, man? Like, jack it up, like the rest of us." <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, my garage has got no space for that. So, like, I ain't got time to be going to go pick up a cherry picker crap. I was like, oh, "By the time I do that, I have I have the block in the car already." <laughs> so, that's 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 my way of doing it. <laughs> he won't change his way. Nope. <laughs> Well, maybe. I mean, you know, if I do another one where I'm older, way older, I'll be like, okay, it's time to get that cherry picker. <laughs> I love how, like, at that point, maybe. You yeah, know, you're just maybe, like, maybe. Still a maybe. Come on, man. That's cool. Well, yeah. thank you so much for the opportunity, seriously, the, the honors hours, just to be able to get to know your story. Amazing car. And, uh, yeah, man, you're going to be motivating a whole bunch of people, different ages, different backgrounds, different parts of the world uh, with this build. So thank you so much for that opportunity, man. No problem. You know, I just got I don't drive it all the time. This is right. why I don't drive it all the time. Oh, yeah. I mean, something this modified, it's... Yeah, I mean, it's a fun car, but if I went back to all motor, um, I just, man, I thought about it over the weekend, though. Man, after all, <laughs> all, this, all this stuff I was going through, I was like, I'm going to pull this motor, and I'm gonna, I'm just going to build, like, a 250 horsepower all motor car. Like, I mean, with this motor, I was going to keep this block. I was like, man, it's like, this is crazy. Here you go straight. I'm gonna turn around. You want to go all the way straight down? Yeah, on the line you can make a left. Okay. You ready? There we go. Now we in second.